Welcome to Midsummer Railway. I'm your host Greg and this is my update of my InScale. As you can see I'm based on an English fictitious place, an English church. The flashing lights in the buildings are run by Arduino and they are Neo Pixels and they're in just a random sequence and as you can see people in the buildings there's still a long way to go but it's getting there my new little building which is an old Hornby in scale from back in the early um, 2000s as you can see the Midsummer Police Station As you can see, my Kato has just come out of the tunnel. And as you can see, there's a lot more to be done on the, on the layout. Now, as the Kato comes into the station, it will stop. And there are sensors in the track, um, infrared sensors. The project is an Arduino project from um, Jimmy at the DYI and Digital Railway. Jimmy, fantastic job, um, really perfect, perfect for what I was looking for so that I can stop my trains in the station automatically and then 30 seconds later or whatever time you determine and set up, um, I've got mine set for about 30 seconds and then the power is put back onto the rail and the train will start again. I also have other sensors, other sensors in the track um, which I can control the speed at various points. The layout is divided up into um, four um, sections and um, each one's powered um, separately, um, again through an Arduino and as the train runs over it, it will sense um, the section that it's in and the speed will be depicted. Now, as you can see, here is my very, very old engine. It's a Santa Fe, and it's a 1970, late 1970s, early 1980s 80 Santa Fe. Um, it's a bit noisy, but it still runs. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's actually a good, solid runner. It always runs. And as you can see, again, it stopped in the station through the um, Arduino project, and then in 30 seconds, it'll start up again. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit. It's just a quick update um, of where I'm at. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.